So last night I totally redid the birdie cages. They're all new set up. New toys, perches in different places. Oh goodness, this is Bo and Kit's cage. And there's Bo and Kit and Tanaki. Hi, T. And this over here is T's cage. I plan to go get some willow branches or something like that and put in there as well. There's a bunch of foraging stuff on the bottom that Bokashi will probably forage and T probably will not because he's lazy. Yes, Tanaki's lazy boy. And the lighting is terrible so you can't see his prettiness. Oh, T, are you strutting? Are you strutting around? Yes, go eat the other bird's food. Perfect. So what we've got here, for those not acquainted with parrot life, is we have homemade parrot toys. I get parrot supplies online. The balsa wood I get from California Bird Nerds. Um, wood slats and things I get from either there or my safe bird store. Or whatever. Craft stores, dollar stores, that kind of thing. You just gotta make sure that they are baby safe so that None of the dyes will damage the birds. I also make perches. I learned this skill from Young and her flock. You take fleece, you cut it in strips and braid it, and then you can just tie it to the cage. And I use these instead of cotton rope perches. It gives them the same nice squishy give that a cotton rope perch will, but without the thread risk of strangulation. And they're also a little bouncy, so it makes sure their little legs have to work. And then that is a madrone perch. You can get madrone wood outside off madrone trees. Um, please research how to properly treat your wood before bringing it inside to make sure there are no diseases or um, parasites and whatnot on them. This is another homemade toy with random parts. What we don't see are the foraging toys. I'm going to have to use those later. We do have this, which is just an egg carton with stuff shoved in it, and underneath a Ziploc box that's empty with, again, stuff shoved in it. Some food bits, old tissue paper, um, toilet paper rolls, all kinds of stuff. And the point is they have to push around to find what they want. It gives them something to do all day. The same over here. I have some wood molding attached to the cage right there. Uh, because Bokashi loves to chew our wood trim, and I figured if he loves to chew the wood trim outside the cage, maybe he will chew it inside the cage and stop destroying our wood trim. Um, hasn't quite worked out that way, but we're trying. I'm going to make sure your quick links are always hooked up tight, because birds have impaled their beaks on these before. Um, this is a little foraging coconut. This is Kitsune's favorite thing in the world. Again, another homemade toy. This was also homemade. It costs much less to buy the parts and make them yourself than it does to buy them. A toy like this right here would probably cost $20 to $30 at a pet store. We also have hanging a little fun tunnel toy made of PVC pipe. And I stole this idea from Karen online, who has Midori Conyer and Dusty Conyer and a bunch of other Conyers. And uh, because it's slippery, I s screwed in this piece of wood in the bottom to help them and put some fortune cookies and Nutri Berries in there to encourage them to go in. There is a stainless steel bucket with food and toys with tissue paper wrapped around it. They have to chew through the paper to get to the toys. And then Kit's foraging bowl, she loves that thing too. And that is a tour of the parrot cages. Oh, Bokashi, was that a yawn? Was that a yawn? Are they making out without you? Oh, poor Bo. They have yet to explore the inside other than Taniki going in for a couple bites of rice pellet. That plant in the background is a spider plant. It is bird safe. 
And the one on top of the dog kennel is a Dracaena, which is also a bird safe. 